Hi there! Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we're going to go look at some more Pokemon shirt designs um, from Original Stitch. I've done videos in the past about all the Kanto patterns and all the Johto patterns, I think. <laughs> um, I'll put them up here in your suggestions and I'll put them in the description below. But today um, I saw a thing that said that they've released some Hoenn patterns as well. And as you know, Hoenn is my favorite region in Pokemon, so I'm excited to look at them. So let's just kind of rate each pattern that we see and talk about what we think. And if you're interested in that, just keep on watching. Okay, so before I even, I have it on my uh, iPad, sorry guys. Um, before I even get in, they already have patterns for the starters and sword and shield. So we might as well look at them too and see what we think. Okay, so this is Grookey's and it is very floral and cute and I actually really, really like this one. I could see myself ordering this one. If you guys remember, I also made another video about me ordering a shirt from Original Stitch that... Um, was a interest, it had an interesting fit to it. I'm going to just leave it at that. If you're curious to watch that video, I'll also have it in the description below or pop it up someplace. I don't know. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I got a snubble design because I love snubble and it had a floral pattern as well. And it's like a button down dress shirt. Um, all I can say about that is measure yourself and put your exact measurements in. Don't be like me and just assume that like if you're a medium in U.S., you're going to be medium in by Japanese standards because that is not true. And um, parts of you might be uh, a medium, but other parts will definitely not. So that's all I'm about to say. Take that advice. But anyway, Grookey is adorable. It is floral. It is very cute. It's within the color scheme. There's like this like pastel -y orange color and navy and greens. And I think this one for me... Honestly, it's like a 9 out of 10. This is great. Score Bunny, um, this is the starter I actually chose for Sword and Shield. Um, and it's a cute Pokemon, but I'm, it, it's very 90s. Um, it just reminds me too much of like the fast food restaurant chain and like all the patterns in there. So I'm not a fan of it, but if, like it looks very action-y in motion. Um, I don't know if you're into that. Cool. For me, this is like a... 6 out of 10. And Sobble, oh my goodness. So Sobbles is like an umbrella rain. I kind of like the story of it, and I like that it's kind of going invisible, very fitting within Sobble's like character design and lore. Um, so I like that attention to detail. I like the stripes. Vertical stripes will always make you look taller. So um, if you're interested in that, like good point to know. And it's blue. It's cute. Um, yeah, it's it would be interesting to see how it translates, but just based on the pattern itself, I give this one like a 7.5 out of 10. Apparently, um, these patterns though are going to go out in phases, so they don't have the whole Pokedex yet, which is kind of disappointing to me. Um, so each one's going to be added in four uh, phases, each one has a theme, and Pokemon that match that theme will appear. So, um, I guess phase two is the and I guess we're in phase one. So I'm not really sure what our theme is right now. But um, the second one is going to be ground. And it's going to be the end of April. The third one is going to be ocean. It's the beginning of July. And then uh, the beginning of September will be sky. So take that what you will. I feel like all the legendaries will be in by the end of um, September. Of course, they could probably be doing this because it's like COVID's a real big thing. And I know they're like starting to make um, masks and bandanas and stuff too. So maybe they just have a lot of production going on that way. Um, but yeah, so let's look at the new patterns or whatever they have so far. So they seem like, um, I have the screen pulled up and I'll put, again, screenshots here for everything, but like they have a lot of just like kind of gaps and it doesn't seem random random, but I'm, again, I'm not really sure what the theme is other than just like the starters and maybe the early route Pokemon it looks like. But with that being said, let's just like start with Trico and go our way and see how many patterns are on what we like. Okay, so... Trico, I love this color scheme. Yes, I love the greens. I love the blues. Um, the plaid is nice. I feel like a lot of like guys would want this, and I, I don't mean to stereotype, but like if you're into plaid, 
Um, you will probably like this. Trico's just kind of climbing around, hanging out. Um, so yeah, I think this is a really cute pattern. I would give this one an 8 out of 10. Grovile. Okay, um, so this has leaves. And him just kind of chilling in the background. The shadow is like a ninja or whatever. Um, it, I think there's also palm leaves. I think that's what the background is supposed to be too. Um, this isn't necessarily my favorite. So I'm going to give it a 5. Septile, I feel like, can be a bop. Okay, hear me out. This might look a lot like a lot for a lot of people. It's very tropical and Hawaiian, but I love the black or like green black contrast to it. And I like all the patterns in the leaves. It kind of looks like, you know, those things we used to have as like kids where it's like a black, uh, black piece of paper, but then you scratch it with like a coin or something and there'd be like colors beneath it, like a rainbow. It looks like that to me. So I'm really into it. And I actually buy shirts like this for my brother all the time that, and my husband all the time too, that look like tropical Hawaiian shirts, but then they have like Bubba Fat on them or some stuff like that. And I feel like this is very much the same thing. If I was going to pick a shirt out for my brother, I I feel like he would really like this one and I feel like he does like Grovile or like the Trico line so this would be a good gift for him. If you're my brother and you're watching this forget everything I said. I didn't even give it a ranking. Um, I give this one a good 9 out of 10 too. I like that one. Torchic. Okay Torchic is very cute. We got like a tiny tiny houndstooth pattern going on and I used to hate houndstooth patterns but now I'm kind of living for them. Animal Crossing changed my mind. I don't know what to say. Um, but like this Torchic one is so cute. I love the little spots and Torchic itself is adorable. So this is a real big success for me personally. I would give this one again, like maybe an eight and a half out of 10. Oh boy. <laughs> um, Combuskin. Uh, so not a fan. That's okay. I feel like if you were like a kid, this would be all of your alley. It looks very much comic booky and fun. If you're somebody who's really into comic books, I feel like you would like this. Like, it screens movement and action. Um, there's not really a lot of color to it. Um, I my only thing is like it's just like I like the shirts that are patterns that integrate Pokemon, but this is just the Pokemon is the pattern itself. So which is why I don't really like it. Um, but again, I'm gonna give this one like. It's like for a niche person, so I'm gonna give this one like a four out of ten. Ew. <laughs> oh, that's so rude of me. Um, but yeah, no, I know I just said I like Pokemon that are integrated into the pattern, but I mean, okay, I take back my ew because I feel like if I saw this as a shirt, I would like it, especially if the cuffs were blue, and maybe I would wear it. But I feel like Blaziken. Could have been the one with the movement. And I see him in the Paisley. And now I can kind of see him like outside of the pattern too. Kind of kicking it around. Something about Paisley. I used to like Paisley. But something about Paisley reminds me of like cells and mitochondria. And all that kind of stuff. So I'm not a huge fan of this. This isn't attractive to me. I think I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10 too. Okay, we have Mudkip, and Mudkip, this is definitely taking the illustrative route, and this is giving me very much Winnie the Pooh vibes, um, but Mudkip is my favorite starter in Hoenn, I think. I think all the starters are really strong, like, like strong design, strong concept, but, um, yeah, I like Mudkips, <laughs> um, but, yeah, I, I like this one, I like that it's playing with other Pokemon, I like that it's playing with Lotad, I like that we can see a shiny pink Mudkip, too. And pink is my favorite color. If you really, if you really can't tell, pink is my favorite color. Um, so, yeah, I like this one. Um, I don't normally like the illustrative designs just because it is blatantly obvious what it is. But I like this one, so I'm gonna give this one a seven out of ten. Marshop. <laughs> um, okay, this again is, uh, you know, this one's gonna be a five. And this one too. Oh my god. I don't know why they did the final Evos dirty. I think Septiles was the best one out of all of them, really. Um, but yeah, I don't know if this is supposed to be like the... When I see this, I feel like it belongs on a very masculine presenting person. Um, that's just me though. It doesn't have to be. But I don't know why he's pushing these blocks that look like octagons and hearts. I don't... I don't know. But he's doing it and... I'm giving it a 6 out of 10. Next, we're moving on to Puccina. And this has a similar pattern to the Torchic one, where it's just a bunch of houndstooth. I think that is perfect for Mr. Puccina. Um, I I love that. I feel like it's literally a houndstooth. It's a dog. Perfect. I love this. I love the spooky little faces, too. Um, it could just be, like, scary. I feel like if you're alternative, you'd really, really like this. 
Um, I think this is a really cute pattern, so I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. I like this. I don't know if I'll find any 10 10s, but I really, really like this one, so it's really high up there. And we have Mighty Anna. Um, this is... <laughs> This gives me edgelord vibes, you know, this gives me monster energy drink and a neck beard type vibes. Um, I don't know. It's not for me. It looked like the, obviously the patterns are supposed to look like claw marks and stuff and it's supposed to be aggressive and there's an audience for this, but it's not me. So I'm going to give this one a five too. And you know, I'm being pretty generous because like I could give it like a two or something. But for me, a five is still 50%, and technically that's failing because I used to be a TA. So, so that, that's my standard, I guess. Um, Zigzagoon, again, not for me. Um, I think it's cute, and it's literal zigzags, so that makes sense. But this looks like a geologist, and I'm not a geologist. So I give this one a four out of ten, sorry. This is the similar treatment. This is a bunch of lines in the noon. Um, I feel like this would blend in well if you're into that, but this is also very geologist vibes to me, or history professor. So if that's you and that's what you're going for, then you'll love this. But for me, that's a... It's just kind of bleh. So I'll give this one a six. Whirlpool! Okay, this one um, is, again, vertical patterns. We have that. We have a lot of little... Oh, I just had a thought, and it's so bad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sound so mean, and I feel bad because everyone. This is probably somebody's favorite Pokemon. Like each one of the shirts I had was probably your favorite design or your favorite Pokemon. And if that's the case, I'm sorry, but like, um, I remember we had caterpillars that would turn into monarch butterflies. I remember like their food was kind of gross, and it was just like this yellow stuff. For some reason, when I saw that dot, I thought of that. I don't know if it was the shape or the texture or what. I think the Wurmple themselves climbing up the vines are super cute. Like I love that. But, like, the dots, just that thought I had, that associated thought, it ruined it for me. Um, that's my fault. That's not the shirt's design. So I'm going to give this one uh, probably, like, a seven and a half, I think. Ooh, Silcoon. Okay, coming in strong. Now, again, floral spiced. I love the floral patterns. Uh, but I really like this one. I like that it's hidden very well, and you can't really see it unless you know what to look for. Um, but, uh, yeah, I like this a lot in terms of a design, and I'd probably wear this myself, so I'm gonna give this one an eight and a half, too. And Beautifly, so, um, this one, again, pretty butterflies, floral, I think you could probably get away with this one at work, and nobody really know what it is, they'll just think it's butterflies. Um, I like the Silcoon one better than the Beautifly one, that's just, again, me and my opinion, um, just because I don't wear a lot of butterfly things even though that is coming back with the y2k fashion movement that's coming back so somebody might really really want this shirt for work um i'm going to give it i think an eight an eight out of ten a cascoon um now for me i feel like this is just a lot of d dots with eyes and sharp lines it's supposed to look scary and aggressive um so this is uh I think I'm going to give this a three. I think that's the lowest I've given a pattern so far. I don't know if it's necessarily the worst, but I just, I just, there's no way I would pick this. Dust Talk. Now, this is pretty. This is fun. This is like, again, neon. I like the contrast. I like the navy with the pinks and the yellows and the neon. This is like a party shirt. Like, I've Picture this not so much in the corporate environment, but going out and going dancing and, like, wearing a nice button-down to try to, like, look your best or whatever. Putting this on, oh, I would approach you. Hands down, hands down, I would love it. So this is really, really good for me. This is also very strong. Um, I I know I give the other one, like, an eight and a half, but I think this is a nine, too. I really like this. Oh, my God, slack off. Mm, so cute. Okay, this is adorable. I really like this guy. I think this would be a really cute pocket pattern. Like, if you had everything else plain and just this, oh, I think it would be a win. But I feel like um, this pattern by itself on the whole shirt might not be the most flattering, especially since, like, the stripes are horizontal, which make you look wider. Now, if you, if it's you're wearing something that's skin tight, it will accentuate your curves because you can physically see where the lines get smaller and then wider. Or, like, if you are masculine, then with this kind of figure, too, it would, bring, it would emphasize your wider shoulders and then bring in your waist. Um, but I feel like with the dress shirts, they're meant to be boxy and square, so I don't think it would be a very flattering pattern on a lot of people. But I think this would be a cute, cute pocket pattern. So it's not necessarily like the Pokemon's fault. It's just like the horizontal stripe. So 
Um, I would give this a five, but the drawing is really, really cute. And we have Vigoroth. Okay, so I feel like this is very keeping with Vigoroth's personality. Um, so that's a plus for me. Would I wear it? Probably not. Um, this isn't really my style. Again, I think this would be a really cute pocket pattern, but having it all over might be kind of wild. Um, again, you know, it, I, I think that's the point, though, is that this is a very, like, wild and energetic Pokemon. So um, I think that's why it would fit well. But for me, it's going to be a six. And we have Slacking. Um, okay, King. All right, Slacking is a real king. I love this Pokemon. Um, the I, it's, pattern is literally just like circles with him lying around and being lazy or being mad, which I feel like is fitting. Um, and this is, again, taking the more illustrative type pattern, uh, which is like, okay, um, I don't think I would wear this. And if I'm speaking honestly, I think this is honestly like a four and a half for me. Sorry. Whismer! Okay, so I love this one. I think there's a lot of personality. I mean, Whismer is like a sound-based Pokemon, and I like the fact that Jigglypuff's on there too. I really like the patterns that incorporate other Pokemon. I think that's like a fun touch. Um, but yeah, I, I love its cry. I love the sound things. I love the notches. Um, I think this is really, really cute. Um, I feel like, again, you, like if you are in a corporate environment and you're trying to do subtlety, I don't think this is very subtle. But if you're somebody who's allowed to be like really creative, like if you're an artist and you get to wear this kind of shirts all the time, I would say go for it. This honestly is probably like a seven for me. And then Loudred. Okay, so again, another one with another Pokemon. We have Slack Off on it. Um, and I love Loudred. I think it's such a cute Pokemon, and I really like this design, too. I feel like it would be fun if you were a musician and you had this shirt. I think the two shirts here are really fitting for you. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna give this one a six, just because I'm not really sure where I would wear it, but I think it's really fun. And then Exploud. Okay, so there's, uh, it's just beating the shit out of some Caterpies and Whirlpools, I guess. I don't know. This is really aggressive for me. This is also in a very comic booky style. And I feel like, what was in the, um, Mankey and Primate. I feel like the Primate one from Kanto, I really, it was in a comic book style and I really, really liked it. Um, this one I don't think is as successful for me. But, um, again, if you are very kitsch, if you are an artist or if you work at a place that's more relaxed with their clothing, I feel like this would be so, super fun to wear to work. Um, so, but I can't, I can't, I, I don't know if I could wear this, so I'm going to give it a five. And we have Skitty. Okay, this is Skitty with a bunch of ball of yarn. I think it's really cute. I think this fits, like, the cat lady aesthetic. Um, I feel like this would be fun if you're, like, a secretary. <laughs> I don't know, or like a librarian or something. I don't know. Um, but it, again, it's not really subtle. It's in your face. But of course, somebody could just think that's a cat and not necessarily a skitty. Um, fun fact, when Douglas played Explorers of Time, I think, for the first time, and he took the personality test, he got a skitty, which I thought was absolutely adorable. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's okay. Um, I'm going to give this one a six and a half, maybe, just because I like the colors. But I again... I, I like the I like the things that are hidden personally. So oh, we have Dilcaddy. So this one was very mid-century modern, like or mid-century 1960s, uh, very stylized. So I love the fact that this pattern is very very unique and it fits in with like the beauty lady aesthetic. It reminds me of a hair salon from back then. So I really I think in terms of style, I think that's really really cool. Um, I don't really like that the cats aren't really integrated with the diamond pattern very well. That's just me. It feels like they're kind of just smushed in there um, without a whole lot of rhyme or reason. But I would give this one probably like a six too. Okay, we have Plusle, the cheerleader Pokemon. I love the pastels. I love the cheerleading. Um, this is fun, especially if you're like a coach. Oh my god, if you're a coach for like a middle school or something, this would be adorable for you to wear and the kids would freaking love it. Um, but for me, again, it's, it's okay. It's okay. So I would give this one maybe a seven. We have Minim. So it's basically the same idea, uh, but just, I don't know if they're trying to look pixelated or what. They still have the pom-poms, which is really cute, but like no megaphones and it's just a plus and minus. Um, I feel like this is supposed to be like the less girly looking one because blue is for boys. I don't, I don't know. Um, this one though, I do feel like fits, for some reason I get like programmer from this and I don't know why. Um, or this would be, like, a cute, like, nurse shirt. If you're a nurse, I feel like this would be really cute for you. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to give... I like the other one better, but I'm, I think I'm going to give... What did I give the last one? A seven? I think I'll give it the same. Whatever the last one was. Okay. Volbeat? 
I freaking love this. I love the constellations. I love the stars. I am like growing into astrology person. Uh, so I, I love this design a lot. Uh, I love the fact that there's constellation constellations. I love that um, there's a Illumis. I love that that's in the stars too. And she's like winking. I love that there's a pokeball. I, I, I really like it. It's flying around. I love lightning bugs. That's just me. And I, although I don't use this Pokemon in the game, really, um, I know when I first played, I really wanted to because I love lightning bugs. So just for a personal attachment and like, I like the design, um, I would probably get this shirt. So this is going to be like an eight and a half for me. Um, this one, Illumis, is a lot more feminine. It's in the illustrated design. There is some floral and I do like that there's like um, other combi present. I think that's really cute. Um, and they're just kind of chilling together, and she's giving them a good old wink, I guess. Um, but I do like the other shirt better. This one's nice, too. I'll give this one an 8. Oh, my God, Gulpin. <laughs> um, okay, so I just want to preface. I love Gulpin as a Pokemon. I think it's adorable. I love Gulpin a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, and it's so funny. This is just looks like some Charlie Brown type shit. I, there's a Swalot in there in the middle, and then there's a Gumi, I think. Yeah? Um, it looks crazy. I, I like this because I feel like it looks like there's like some artists and I'll, if I find the pictures, I'll put them up, but there's some artists that just draw with like expo markers and they doodle this way and they, like their art sells for a lot of money and I feel like people might think that's a reference to that. Um, but I, I love this pattern. I know it's not practical. I know there's no color in it whatsoever, so it normally wouldn't, but I just love gold pen so, so much. So maybe that's personal bias, but I would give this a solid eight. I swallow it is more tame I guess um, I love the mouth though I love the lips I I just love this Pokemon line I don't know why it's just so I like rounded Pokemon with creepy faces or weird eyes I'm sorry I feel like that's just my niche at this point after looking at like Quagsire and Beware and I think it fits the aesthetic um but yeah I like this shirt too I feel like this is a lot more subtle and it's just kind of goofy looking I'm sure people see that they'll probably think it's like a catfish or something so you can like trick people into the thinking that you're a fisherman I know guys on tinder do that so if you're a guy on tinder that's trying to convince someone you're a fisherman you should get this shirt um but yeah I don't know what did I give the last one an eight I feel like this is a solid seven and a half and we have Spinda. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, so if you want your straight up Hawaiian shirt, this is it. I know I talked about Sceptile too. Um, but this, I don't know, makes me dizzy. I don't know if that's the point with the swirls or whatever. I mean, it's cute. I'm sure people like it. Oh my god, but I love this detail. Hang on. Let me double check that I'm seeing it correctly. I think each Spinda on the shirt has a different dot pattern, which is like part of the actual lore. So like, each spin, if you don't know, each Spinda has its own unique pattern on its fur dot pattern and bird keeper toby did the math on this in one of his older videos i'll also plug that here um where he counted out all the possible like all the possible patterns you could find within a spinda and it was a crazy high number so that is a great little detail and i think that gave it extra points for me but i still think it's only like a seven. Ooh. so now we have absol i think we're getting close towards the end or if not i think this might be the last one um, this reminds me of It's a Small World in that design. Don't ask me why. Maybe it's just the geometricness of this. Um, I think the color palette's really pretty. I think, if again, it fits that kind of Delcati, like, 60s vibe to me. Um, so if you're somebody who appreciates that kind of art style, then I would definitely get this. And I could see this for somebody who works at, like, an art gallery or something. Um, is it my favorite? Not really. So I'm just going to give this one a 6. Okay, yeah, and that is the last one. So like I said, there's going to be more patterns in the near future. Um, when those drop, I will release more videos and kind of go this go over it with you guys. Um, so I think in conclusion, let's see. Let's do my favorite pattern and least favorite off the top of my head. Um, I think, okay, this is going to surprise a lot of people, I think. But I think my two favorite patterns were actually like the Sceptile one and the Dust Talks one, which I didn't think would be um but my least favorite I'm just gonna go I don't want to but I think I'm just gonna go with zigzag moon just because I felt like it was the most blah you know because eh. I feel like even if I don't like the pattern I still appreciate like a, a bold choice and I know if it's a bold choice somebody else will like it um but of course that's just my opinion please let me know down below in the comments which ones you liked and which ones you didn't like um, and we'll see if we have any in common. 
Like I said, be sure to like, if you like this video, be sure to like it, comment down below, share it with a friend, and subscribe to the channel. Please, please, please subscribe to the channel. We have a cute little community here on this little slice of the internet, and we talk about Pokemon stuff all the time. And when we're not talking about Pokemon stuff, we're doing makeup stuff. So um, if you like either of those things or both, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And until next time, thanks!